welcome to another session of Mami Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is finding the domain and range of the different circular functions. We know what domain is and we know what range is. Domain is the set of all x's and of course range is the set of all y's. But in this case, since we are in circular function, our set of x's will be of course the angles, the theta. And of course, our range is still the set of all y's. So if we will graph it, this one is your y-axis, and this is your range, and this one is your x-axis, this will serve as your angle axis. So this is 30, 45, 60, and so on and so forth. So this one becomes your domain and this one of course is your range how do we find the domain and range of the sine and the cosine function to find their domain and range given the function y is equal to a sine quantity b theta plus c plus d and y equals a cosine quantity b theta plus c plus d where a b c d are real numbers the domain and range are the following. The domain is the set of all theta such that theta is an element of the set of real numbers. While the range is, of course, the set of all y such that y is less than or equal to d plus the absolute value of a, but greater than or equal to d minus the absolute value of a. Let's take example number one y is equal to sine theta. We only need to identify here, of course, the a and the d for the range because the domain is already, of course, the set of theta such that theta is the set of real numbers. To find the range, it says here y such that y is less than or equal to d plus the absolute value of a greater than or equal to d minus the absolute value of a. So we only need to, of course, identify the a and the d. So in this case, our a is, of course, 1 because this means 1 sine theta. And then our d here is 0. We cannot see any addition here because here we have plus D. So therefore, we can now find the range and the range is Y such that Y is less than or equal to our D is 1 or 0 plus 1, the absolute value. And then we have D, 0 minus the absolute value of 1. Okay. So therefore, our range is y is less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to negative 1. So writing this, of course, in interval notation, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. This covers all the real numbers. For this, we have... This one, negative 1, up to, of course, positive 1. Okay. So, y is less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to negative 1. Number 2. We have y equals 2 sine 3 theta plus pi plus 5. Okay. We only need to identify the a and the d. So our a here is 2 and our d here is 5. Again, our domain is of course the set of real numbers. For the range, we have y such that y is less than or equal to our d is 5 minus the absolute value of 2 plus rather and then greater than or equal to 5 minus the absolute value of 2. So therefore, our range here is equivalent to y such that 
y is less than or equal to 7 but greater than or equal to 3. So, writing this again in interval, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. And here we have 3, comma 7. Number 3, we have y equals negative sine 1 half theta. Our a is negative 1 and our d is, of course, equal to 0. Again, our domain is the set of real numbers. Since it is already mentioned here that if we have sine and cosine, your domain is always this one. For the range, we have y such that y is less than or equal to d, that is 0, plus the absolute value of negative 1. And here we have 0 minus the absolute value of negative 1. Okay, so our range therefore is y such that y is less than or equal to 1 but greater than or equal to negative 1. Because the absolute value of negative 1 is still positive 1. And 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Writing it again in interval, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. And for this one, we have negative 1 comma positive 1. Let's take number 4. So here in number 4, still our domain is the set of real numbers. Theta, such that theta is any element in the set of real numbers. For our range, our a here is of course 3. And our d here is 5. So the set of all y such that y is less than or equal to 5 plus the absolute value of 3 greater than or equal to 5 minus the absolute value of 3. So our range therefore is y such that y is less than or equal to 8 but greater than or equal to 2. So writing it in interval notation, this one is negative infinity up to positive infinity. The other one we have 2 comma 8. Okay, let us go to number 5. Number 5, so y is equal to cos theta. Our a here is imaginary, of course 1, and our d here is 0 because there is no plus here. Again, our domain is the same as the sine, the set of all theta such that theta is any element in the set of real numbers. For the R, we have here y such that y is less than or equal to 0 plus the absolute value of 1 and then 0 minus the absolute value of 1. So you will be getting here, the range will be y such that y is less than or equal to 1 but greater than or equal to negative 1. So in interval notation, again, this one is negative infinity up to positive infinity and the other one is negative 1 comma positive 1. Number 6, we have y equals cos theta, 2 cos theta. Again, our a is 2. And our d is 0. So our domain is still the set of all theta such that theta is any element in the set of real numbers. For the range, we have y such that y is less than or equal to 0 minus or 0 plus absolute value of 2 greater than or equal to 0 minus the absolute value of 2. So therefore, our range here will be y such that y is less than or equal to 2, but greater than or equal to negative 2. So in interval notation, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. And for the range, we have negative 2 comma positive 2. 7. We have y equals negative cos 2 theta plus 5. So our a is negative 1 and our d is positive 5. Again, still this is cosine. So therefore, our domain is the set of theta such that theta is any element in the set of real numbers. 
So for the range, we have the set of all y such that y is less than or equal to, that is 5 minus the absolute value or plus rather the absolute value of negative 1. And here we have 5 minus the absolute value of negative 1. We know that the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. So therefore, our range is y such that y is less than or equal to 6, greater than or equal to 4. Okay. So in interval, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. And here we have 4, 6. Example number 8, last number. We have y equals 3 cos 2 theta minus pi plus 5. So our a is 3, our d is 5. So our domain is still the set of all theta such that theta is any element in the set of real numbers. For the range, we have y such that y is less than or equal to d, that is 5, plus the absolute value of 3. Okay. Greater than or equal to 5 minus the absolute value of 3. The absolute value of 3 is, of course, 3. So this is y is less than or equal to a, greater than or equal to 2. Okay. So, in interval, we have negative infinity up to positive infinity. Here we have 2, 8.